that's where you put your love letters. This is where you put money to tip people. Little polar bears. I like the button details. What has she got? The strawberry makes it. We're in Chelsea. of the times and it's in chelsea we're just having a little look before afternoon tea oh i really like that tote bag there you like the red one cute do you like the heart shoes as well yeah i've just seen them They're sparkly i quite like how small this one is like the hill these are louis vuitton 257 i always like black for some reason i'm always in black clothes This one looks like an astronaut outfit. So soft, that touch. Is it like a suede? I think so. Oh, it feels so amazing. Oh, that is nice. But is it tied in? Yeah, let me get some on. And can she try the suede jacket, please? Are they all tied in? Only some of the higher value pieces. Oh, I see. It looks nice, right? I love the detailing on it. Coco, have you fallen in love with the YSL jacket? Yeah, but I just find it weird. I can't zip it up. Yeah. I think it suits you. You look lovely. Yeah. Thank you. How do you feel about this bag? It's nice. I feel like if we put you in some boots, it would really complete the look. Yeah, I left my boots at home. Do you think you can mix metals like gold on the bag and then silver on the coat? This only goes because of the black. Otherwise, if it wasn't the black, it probably would have been better silver and silver. Because then you're keeping it in one tone. You don't have to be so precious with it because it's already vintage. I'll feel more confident with this bag. That's where you put your love letters. This is where you put money to tip people in the little back flat. This is a double flat Chanel. I think the price is actually brilliant. It's literally £8,000 in the shops. I actually love it. you so. got these as well with the inside oh, bit. Oh, I love the and burgundy the interior. Oh. It's literally from the 1980s. I love it. 1989. The Goya comes in all different colours and designs. This one to me looks like navy and brown. downstairs section now now i'm gonna have a little peek i'll show you what they've got you have to be lucky to find your sizing the shoe size the bags and everything yeah. i think pre-loved is such a good idea if you're interested in eco-friendly then you're helping out the environment you're not doing like fast fashion also you probably won't be wearing the same thing as another person when you go to like parties and stuff <laughs> Some of it. It's quite cute. This is an Alexander Wang. It's a size small. It fits perfect for me. I can zip it up if I want to. And I'm wearing a Burberry blazer with these buttons. You can see the detailing there. Mine's quite nice. It's got these palm trees and it's on both sides. Oh yeah, I see the palm trees. And it's got these pockets. It's quite casual, isn't it? It goes with the whole outfit. I do like a blazer actually. It's quite nice that color. I've never seen it. Mm -hmm. I like the button details. It's just a throw on and go, isn't it? We're gonna go for tea now at the Ivy in so, Chelsea. We'll see you there. We highly recommend Sign of the Time. We're now going for some afternoon tea. We'll take you there with us. Yep, let's see you there in a bit. Hey guys, I'm here with Coco. We're in Chelsea and we're just outside the, the Ivy. Ivy. There's two Ivies, there's the Ivy Ocean. We're going to Chelsea Garden. Let's have some afternoon tea and we'll show you what they've got in there. Little polar bears. It's still quite festive. Oh look, there's the other bear.
festive menu, I assume till the new year. You can get afternoon tea here, three to five. Those are the savory sweets and scones, 32.95. I'm getting the Earl Grey. Guys, we're in Chelsea Garden, the Ivy. Let's try some afternoon tea. It's so cute in here. <laughs> Thank you. I got the Earl Grey. Smells delicious. I love like that French lavender smell. I normally don't have sugar, but I'm gonna try a little piece of the brown one. Delicious. Oh really? So delicious. And it was the right temperature because I blew on it. regular one oh dry ice we love that so pretty don't you just enjoy the theatrics i know that's what i'm like wow what's going on you like come to a magic show we didn't know we was gonna have dry ice this is fun enjoy coco i'm filming you filming yes they will yes i want you to perform it i didn't know what to expect oh look at it oh i like the dry ice they did this up the shard as well have you seen the film tangled coco i'd like to think i have when it come out, I saw it in 3D and all the children were trying to grab the lanterns. I'm like that with the dry eyes. This is what the regular menu looks like. This is the festive afternoon tea. Some salmon. I don't know what the other two are. We'll find out. Some fruity scones. Mince pie and some strawberries. Battenberg. Eclair. And a little polar bear in some snow. And then my friend is vegetarian. So she has something similar. But the difference is actually the sandwiches. So you've got avocado and something i'm gonna try this this is my cucumber sandwich it's quite nice it's really nice the bread and the finish we also have an avocado on brown bread toast bread pesto the one you're eating is with courgette paste and cucumber then we have like a mandarin eclair a ballotine with roses pistachio the little polar bear is milk mousse with a bit of caramel and popping candies two spoons each a mince pie gems uh, like strawberry one clotted cream truffle chicken mayo you have courgette paste cucumber and you have cream cheese dill and salmon amazing thank you thank very you. much Hope you enjoy. i'm gonna try my salmon one first i love the presentation of my salmon sandwich you know i'm a salmon girl this has got to be a winner mm. oh Coco, I love this one. The salmon is a winner. Salmon is always my topic. This is the courgette. It's a three-layered sandwich. Never had courgette and cucumber. I'm sure it will taste very fresh and crunchy. It's like a palate cleanser, to be honest. If you don't like flavours that are too strong, you'll enjoy this one. And my friend has harissa and cheese. It smells so good. I love harissa. It's nice, but I prefer the cucumber one. If you like spice, you'll like it because it's got the kick of harissa. Tomato pesto with avocado. This is more heavier because obviously it's bigger and filling, whereas the cucumber one was like yeah the bread was very light and airy wasn't it but it's nice i'm gonna try my last sandwich this is chicken and truffle and a brioche bun reminds me of a hot dog bun but instead of a hot dog i've got the garden in it but i do love truffle so let's give that a go mm. The brioche bun is soft and fluffy. I actually enjoy the greens on top and the truffle is what makes it. If you're a truffle lover, this is the one. I've never actually eaten mince pie in my life. This is my first one, so I'm a bit nervous. Oh, this is monumental. Already, it feels nice and warm and soft. I'm a bit nervous. I hope you like it. If not, don't worry, just try. Life is about trying.
really nice. The biscuit or crust is like shortbread, which I like, and then the inside is like a jammy, fruity flavor. I'm gonna try a mince pie as well. I'm not a mince pie girly, to be honest. It feels warm, that's nice. Oh, it's got a crack already. Let me turn that round, that's rude to show you the crack. <laughs> It's like Christmas in my mouth. I learnt this from you. By watching yeah, it video. has a natural breaking point. No need for a knife, perfect. I didn't know that before I watched your video. Yeah, I learnt that from someone else's video. We're in the day of information exchange, it's cool. We're what do you 80s. do first, jam or clotted cream? It looks prettier if you put jam first, then the cream, but it slides off, so I put the cream first. I'm gonna do it like this, so I'll put cream on one half of the scone and jam on the other. The jam looks yummy, delicious. <laughs> sort of watercress on my strawberry yeah i had that as well the strawberry makes it the jam is lovely the scone is soft and fluffy i'm enjoying this ivy afternoon tea let's try the battenberg it looks like it's got a bit of mascarpone and some pistachio it's very sweet very soft i think the nut throws me off maybe i should get a nut free bite it's very easy to eat this i enjoy the texture and the pattern but so far the scones win for me let's try this little polar bear and that's the theme for the ivy that had some polar bears outside where do you start with a polar bear i think i'll bite his head off <laughs> mm. creamy white chocolate i'm a fan Oh, something just popped. Oh, there's popping candy. Oh, I haven't had that since I was a child. This has got popping candy in it and it looks like snow. It's like I've just swallowed some sweet, soft, fluffy snow. You know that first fresh fall from the snow, powder in soft. That's also a winner. We have a brightly coloured red Christmas eclair. Oh, it's quite fruity. Coco, how come yours has got a belt and mine hasn't? I don't know what happened there. It's giving citrus. It's giving mandarin i'm not sure about this oh my belt fell off oh here's my belt i did have a little belt mm, chocolate belt that's nice so we went to the ivy chelsea garden two afternoon teas for 74.80 the salmon sandwich was a winner for me i always love some smoked salmon the cucumber and courgette one it was it was really nice i also enjoyed the mm. cucumber courgette surprisingly i wouldn't put that together at home oh i love the chicken truffle as well to be fair i didn't have a least favorite maybe just the idea of courgette grossed me out but actually eating it it was a lovely palate cleanser i would say the harissa was my least favorite only because the other two tasted better than it i actually enjoyed because it was quite unique the white chocolate polar bear in the white snow the snow was very evocative of actual snow fluffy soft that first fall of snow and it wasn't too sugary either my least favorite was those orangey flavours in the eclair that just was not for me it was just giving citrus I like the Battenberg but the eclair I did not like it was too strong the citrus I can't do citrus no it was quite tangy I'm surprised how much I actually liked the mince pie because I'm not a mince pie girly but you seem to like it, it was your first ever one the mince pie was delicious because it was like soft crumbly and it was warm and it, i think that made it taste better marks out of 10 for the ivy garden afternoon tea nine for you wow i enjoyed it i'll give it a strong seven seven out of ten guys highly recommend low price point in a beautiful area casual little afternoon tea